Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Neil Warrior. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips. We'll be back for the vlog, y'all. Check it. Man, check this out, y'all. I swear to God, I tell myself, Raynell, always record, no matter what. Always record, because you just never know what you might catch. I broke my rule today. Y'all, I was at the boat ramp, and I was launching at the boat ramp, and this guy, he had a kayak. And we, you know, we're in about knee-deep knee water, all right? The guy steps on his kayak, immediately falls directly into the water, fully submerged. I'm like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. He's like, I eat. The guy gets back up, y'all. I swear to God. He sits back on the kayak again and falls off into the water, fully submerged again. Bruh. He was like, chingao. To my Hispanic brothers out there, what does chingao mean? What does chingao mean? I think I know what it means, but it's kind of comment below what chingao means. So yeah, man, I was not recording. I'm, I'm mad at myself that I missed that moment, but I won't miss no more moments, okay? So today I'm solo, man. Today I'm solo out here in the Freeport Marsh area. You know, I was gonna hook up with MDLR fishing, but he over there trying to spot cast reds. I don't got no patience. I said, I'm going to another spot. I'm going solo and I'm about to kill it. This is gonna be the most epic fishing day of my fishing career. Today marks about the one year anniversary since I got this kayak and I've been fishing the marsh. I'm like, I'm a year in the game, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a year in the game, I'm pretty much a professional. I'm a professional angler. Um, any sponsors wanna hit me up, let me know. And um, I see what I can do. I'm not cheap though. I'm not cheap, I'm not cheap. So today's goal is to beat my PB red, which is 23 inches. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a 24 plus inch red today. 24 plus inch red today and I can feel it. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I've never seen this before. Oh, spook. Now if I catch one, I'll probably spook the school with hell with it. Here we go. Here we go, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. We got one. We got one. Shout out to the partner who's probably still drying off out there at the boat ramp. I wish I caught that moment. Chingao. Let's get it. Lego! The breeze brings goosebumps to my skin. Tonight the whiskey feels stronger. All right, all right, all right. Let's talk about gear, baby. All right, man, I haven't talked about this in my gear in a while, but I got my Shimano Vanford 500. I got my Aries Old 18 Ultralight Rod. I'm gonna try a little, cause it's tail, plastic, I don't know. Um, I got 10 pound braid, 10 pound leader. I'm gonna try a little mullet, mullet Pro Cure today and see what we can get. Like I said, I gotta get a 24 inch red today. So I gotta bring all the stops. So this right here, I feel is a 24 inch red. I like this this bait because it's like a Z-Man diesel or something. Has a little slit right there. I can put my Procure right in there. And I think that's gonna be the ticket today to catch my PB Red today. I'm gonna do this for MDLR. MDLR Fishing, he's at another spot. I tried to convince him to come over here. He didn't wanna go. So that means that either A, he's gonna have an epic day at the spot he's at, or B, I'm gonna have an epic day at the spot that I came to. I'm gonna beat him. He doesn't know he's in competition with me today, but I'm gonna beat him. My goal today is to catch my PB Red, take a picture of it, send it to MDLR Fishing, and rub it in his face. Yeah, man. Yeah. There you go. Come on, 24 inch Red. I know you in here somewhere. I take a 20 plus inch flounder as well. I've never caught a 20 plus inch flounder. PB flounder is 19 inches. It still eludes me. Oh, wait, are we on? Oh, I think we on, baby. We on for the first fish of the day. It's coming towards me. It's coming right towards me. No, 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 no. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a flounder. 
Come here. I'm just talking about you, baby. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. <gasps> lure's out. My lure's out. But the flood is in the boat, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> what? What? <sighs> Was not expecting that. Was. Oh man, it's gonna be one of those days. Got that kind of close to my leg. Bro, I have not caught a flounder in so long. Open your mouth. Open up. Ooh, he's not happy. There we go, baby. Flounder. See if she's a keeper. See if she's a keeper, baby. Oh man, I'm not keeping fish. I'm not keeping fish today, but I just like to know. 16 and a half inches. Keeper flounder. We just getting started, baby. We just getting started. I need a 20 inch one or possibly 24 plus inch red. Let's get another one. Yeah. 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 Peace out, buddy. Tell your homies I'm looking for them. Let's get another one. When I launched at the boat ramp, it was like four or five other kayakers, but I don't see them out here. Just myself. It is what, a Friday? Friday morning. It was interesting over there. It's one of the biggest benefits of kayak fishing. It just, it just gets you away from everybody and everything. Because if I'm going to get skunked, I want to get skunk at this, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. You know what I'm saying? Way better than getting skunk on a jetty or a Texas City dike with a bunch of people crowding you, loud music. Like I said, I've been kayak fishing for a year and this was the first marsh I kayak fished at. Uh, MDLR fishing that took me out here. And many trips later, it's just as magical, you know what I'm saying? There's something over there. I don't know if I can cast over there with all that horse over there, though. We'll still focus over here, though. So, yeah, man, first marsh I came to, everything was just magical. Fish, the birds, the water, the equipment, it was so much fun. And it's still just as fun a year later. So, if you are debating about getting a kayak, I 1000% recommend it. You will not regret it. Definitely not regret it. All right, so I'm headed towards the back lake. Looks like there's some construction going on back there. It's like oil. It's like one foot of water right here. There's a ton of shrimp back here. So, I'm pretty far away from my original landing point. So, um, we'll see, man. If the fish were easy to get to, then everybody would be back here. I have not ran into another angler since I've seen our boy almost drown at the boat ramp. So, we'll come back here and see anything. It's back here. It's worth the wait. It's been about two hours since I launched. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta salvage this day with a 24 inch red. 24 plus inch red. I see something in the distance. They look like one bird is working it. It's a lot of commotion and whiteness. Man, it's super shallow though. Nah, that's not the... I don't know, man. There's a lot of commotion right there. Are those mullet though? Bro, I need to go over there. I can't tell what it is. But it's a lot of jumping. Bro, what is that? Are those reds? Okay, I think those are reds. 
right there come back this way oh my god they're right here all right y'all so here's the situation about 50 yards in front of me there's a school of reds i had to change my gopro because i had 10 percent battery so i'm gonna do my best to get up on them and not spook them i'm gonna go back to the plastic and see what happens They're right there, y'all. They're moving quick, too, though. Here we go. Come on. Hurry up. Here we go. First time I've seen a school of reds. I'm by myself. It's about, it's like 30 or 40 of them. And they head back that way, pushing everything. I'm just trying to catch up to them. Here we go. Come on. Okay, here we go. Almost in striking. Casting ring. Okay, here we go. Gotta get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Wait for it right now. Closer. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Okay, out of striking ring. Don't scare him right now. Don't scare him right now. There we go, right there. <clears throat> right there in the pool. Come on, bite it. Bite it. I'm just outside of the casting ring. Hold on. Come on, get closer right now. I gotta get closer, y'all. They're right there. It's too shallow, though. In it, in it, in it. Right there. Oh, come on, bro. Get there right now. Okay, I gotta get closer. I gotta get closer, but I can't spook them. So we got a push pole. So many of them. I've never seen this before. Don't spook them. Now if I catch one, I'll probably spook the school, but hell with it. Here we go. Here we go, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. We got one. We got one. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. We going to school. Oh, it's big. Don't lose it. Get your pressure on right now. Okay. We in the school, baby. Woo! Oh, 24 inches, baby. They back here. We scan the school. It's okay, though. Oh, my God. There we go. Oh, this is going to be a PB. This is gonna be a PB, baby. That is a huge red. Let's come this way. Come here. That's the PB red. That is a PB red. Please, God. No. No. Here we go. Tie yourself up. Come here. Come here. That's a PB red. That's a PB red, baby. Come here. Come here. Get on him, Bo! Woo! 
Oh my God! Oh my God! Where did school go? I don't care. I wish got to school. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm about to have a heart attack. I don't know where the school went. This might be a PB. This might be a PB, baby. No, 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 baby. No, baby. No, baby. Oh, my God. This might be a PB, y'all. This might be a PB, y'all. I don't know where the school went. Let's see. Let's see. I scared the school, definitely. But I think I got the one that counts. I think I got the one that counts. This is a big fish. This is going to be a PB, y'all. This is going to be a PB, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Now, let me get a good grip on him. Holy crap. Look at this fish. Look at this fish, baby. Oh my God. Whoa, it's about to jump. Okay. We gotta get a better grip on it. I wanna get a measurement. I gotta get a measurement on this bad boy. Look at this fish, y'all. Okay, there goes my lure. I don't know where the school went. Oh my God, this might be a PB. Here we go. Okay, relax right now. Relax, baby. Relax. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. PB, baby! We got 25 and a half inches. 25 and a half inches, baby. Oh baby, let's go, baby! Let me turn around. PB red, 25 and a half inches. Biggest fish of my life. Oh my God. There was a school back here. I kept trying to chase it, kept trying to chase it. Caught up to it, and we got it done. I don't know where the school went, but it, this is all the matters that counts. Let's put it back in the water. Ah! 25 and a half inches. Where your boys go? Oh, okay. You got it, man. Let's go. Woo! I don't know where the school went. Wow. Let's go, man. I traveled probably five five to eight miles to where i'm at right now two and a half hours just to come up on that one school of red and catch that fish totally worth it i don't know where the school went but if i don't find it it made the trip totally worth the new pb i told you i was going to do at the beginning of this video didn't i 24 plus cents don't ever dodge your boy fishing trips